just uh, you can actually if you go straight in i'll direct you and then just up to the right it's just moving away now there it goes you got it well done great teamwork no thank you now that is a red crested kohan walking around over here disappearing it obviously has realized that it's been spotted they don't like to be spotted well i suppose they are slightly spotted aren't they but that's to help with the camouflage look at them completely invisible in that grass and they move so slowly as well that the grass doesn't sort of sway as if an impala was work, walking through the grass make quite a bit of noise they're very quiet very silent except when they're calling and the males are doing a lot of that at the moment trying to get the females attention it might even walk maybe it's going to walk out onto the road and expose itself for us the grass is definitely thinning out now in the area that it's coming through and the road is not too far away from it and that would be nice if we get to see it do its entire display. Ah, oh, thank you. What an obliging bird. My goodness. Who needs Ali's lucky beans? <laughs> also, we have to call Ali now Ali Olive Oil. That's her new nickname. She hasn't got a nickname yet in camp, so I'm trying to uh, sort of establish a few. Oh, got its leg caught on a bit of grass there. Careful, you lift your feet when you walk, as my mom says. Don't shuffle your feet, though I still do that. And off it goes again. See, that uh, just like the warthogs, not wanting to spend too much time out in the open, moving back into the thicker vegetation. It's looking for something to eat, though. You can see that eye is very busy. Its head's sort of moving left, right, looking down, searching for something to eat. Oh, what an inconvenient apple leaf. <laughs> It'll eventually come back around again. Hopefully it keeps coming in the same direction. There it goes. Now, do your call for us, please. This would be perfect. Perfect opportunity. No. Hungry. Yes. Now I'm pecking on the ground. We had an amazing sighting once. Uh, probably the best red, core, red crested corn sighting I've ever had was at Cheetah Plains when we had that arena. And the males were competing. You didn't see the female, but they were definitely competing for a lass that was in the area. We're going to start seeing them more and more often. I also can't wait to see the black-bellied bustards again. It'll be nice to see them. They've got such a beautiful eye. This is great. This might possibly be the longest single red-crested Corhan sighting I've ever had. Wonderful. Now, Vicky, hello, it's great to hear from you again. You're wondering if these birds can fly. They can. They, they're actually very good flies. Oh, stretching the wings, stretching the legs. Maybe it's going to demonstrate. Vicky, maybe it's heard your question this afternoon. Um, they, they typically spend most of the time on the ground, as we're seeing now. They don't fly and catch their food in the air. They actively search for it. However, if they need to get away, of course, they have got beautiful big wings and they can take to the air, and they're actually really good at flying. You wouldn't think so, though, but they are. Wonderful. Well, that's quite nice. Well, we're going to go from our bird now. I'm going to send you across to Mr. Muscles.